Hey guys, it's your local tech support Rusty here, back with another video, and today we're going to be continuing our series on hackers. And today we're looking at the different types of hackers. So, let's begin. First we're going to have a look at what a hacker is. So, like you can see here, you can read along if you want, you know, you can pause the video and read this yourself, but I'm just going to read through my PowerPoint. A hacker is an individual who uses the computer, networking, or other skills to overcome a technical problem. So that might be like a bug in a program or something like that. But the term uh, hacker may refer to anyone with technical skills, but it's often referred to a person who uses his or her abilities to gain unauthorized access or commit um, cyber crimes. This is showed a lot on the news or the media. That's mostly referring to black hat hackers. But anyway, we'll get on to the different types now. So first up we have script kiddies. So script kiddies are the sort of kids who, you know, well, they're referred to as script kiddies because they s copy people's scripts and viruses and use them for themselves. Um, but they don't really know how to u how they work. They know how to use them, but they don't know the theory behind them. They may watch a YouTube video and try and follow it through. Um, but yeah, they really don't know what they're doing, like the theory behind of what they're doing. So they might use a tool that somebody's made to DDoS somebody, but the truth is they have no clue what they're actually doing, uh, what the theory behind DDoSing is. Next you've got white hats. White hats are the good guys, they're pen testers, ethical hackers, people that show vulnerabilities, uh, find vulnerabilities and tell the people that own the system that there's a vulnerability there so they can be fixed. So they don't do anything malicious like spread viruses. Next you've got the opposite end of the spectrum of hackers with the black hat hackers. These hackers usually have extensive knowledge about breaking into the systems, bypassing security protocols. They're the guys who write the malware, who do all the DDoSing. They're like the big bad guys in the hacking world. There's not as many of them. Um, well, there's the same amount as white hat as there is black hat hackers. You mostly hear about black hat hackers on the news. Next you've got grey hats. This makes up most of the community in the hacking world. Grey hats, well, they're sort of on the good side. They're between white hat hackers and black hat hackers because they do stuff illegally, but they do it for the right reasons. So they don't steal information. They might, you know, go around the system, play around with stuff, uh, but they never do anything to harm anybody normally. So most of the time they'll just program, they'll f maybe they'll find a vulnerability and they'll, fi they'll go into that system and they'll find something on a company that have done something bad so they'll release it to the media. It's the gr that's what grey hats really are. But yeah, grey hats are kind of the good guys, they're like vigilantes basically. Next you have red hats. These are kind of like grey hats, they are vigilantes in the hacking world. They're also a bit like white hats in a sense. They, they try to stop black hats, so they're really against black hats um, so they report malicious hackers they find that they find lurking around systems they shut down people who are trying to upload viruses to the internet uh, but yeah these are the good guys they they don't attack any other businesses they just attack black hat hackers next you got blue hat hackers uh, so yeah it's a lot of hats here obviously uh, these guys uh, basically uh, a script kitty who wants um, revenge so they will seek revenge on anybody who's annoyed them so say you've been on Call of Duty you just you know killed somebody and then you've been kicked off the server that could have been a blue hat hacker who's just DDoSed you off so yeah that's basically it for this PowerPoint thanks for watching guys this has been your boy Rusty and I'll see you guys later